Bass Anglers, Fishing 101. Today I'm going to show you how to make your own buzz baits. Uh, so like I said before, I get my parts off of Lore Parts Online. I got a chartreuse and white skirt, a chartreuse uh, buzz bait head. I have a medium sized delta blade here, a buzz bait rivet, and one bead you can see there. I have to sit the bead on the bead bag because if you put these beads on a flat surface, they'll just roll off. So again, I think I got the bag with the buzz baits came with uh, five buzz bait heads, and it was only a couple bucks. So you go go to the store and figure out how much a buzz bait cost, and then factor in uh, tax and all that other stuff, and then see how much it would cost you to build a buzz bait on your own if you got the parts off of Lore Parts Online or some other uh, tackle uh, website that sells parts. And th this is fairly easy to make. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put the skirt on. And you can see these skirts, you have a long side and a short side. You want to put the hook in the long side. So I'm going to try to find the hole here. And I'm going to insert the hook in the long side and pass it right through all the way to the back of the head and then just slide that over there it's all rubber so it should just slide on boom so I got my my skirt right there okay so then I'm gonna take one bead in order for the delta bit blades to spin freely, uh, these beads and these rivets are kind of like a washer. So it allows the buzz, the delta blades to spin freely. So I'm going to put a bead on first. I use uh, 3 16 be size beads. Uh, let's see here. So I'll put that on there first. Then I'm going to put the delta blade on. Make sure you put it in the correct direction or it won't work okay and then on the back of the delta blade I'm gonna put a delta blade rivet once you have that on even though I'm not really using the uh, split ring pliers for a split ring it it helps to have two sets of pliers to do this so at the very end of the buzz bait you have to curve that up so that the buzz bait doesn't come flying off. So I'm going to hold it with my split ring pliers and I'm going to take my regular pliers and I'm going to curve it up toward the hook. Just a slight curve. It's almost like I'd say a 15 degree angle. Just enough so the buzz bait doesn't come flying off. There we go. So if you look closely, uh, let's see if I can get it focused here. See that little curve I got there? Now the blade can spin freely and it can spin freely. And I just made my own buzz bait, just like that. It only it took like less than five minutes to do it. So if you're living in the East Coast and you can't fish or you don't like ice fishing and you're going through retail therapy, buying rods and reels <laughs> for the next season, build some baits. So there's your buzz bait. It took me less than three minutes to make it. And I think... All of this together cost me less than $2. And I got a high quality buzz bait. And uh, there you go. Again, this is uh, Bubba Bass Anglers, Fishing 101. I'll see you on the next video.